In this lesson, I'll explain an alternate procedure to create walls as well as the cutouts to, uh, to accommodate doors and windows. The speciality of this method is that this method will work for all AutoCAD versions. That means uh, from AutoCAD 2000 onwards to on all higher versions. Whereas the press pull command, which you, have, uh, which you have seen in the last lesson, will work only from AutoCAD 2010 and higher versions. So let's see the procedure. So I'll start with the polyline command and I'll trace a polyline over the existing wall layout which is given in the plan. So I'll uh, pick all the necessary points. Then I'll connect the endpoints and I'll give close. So we have made the wall layout. Now I'll give offset command and, and an offset distance of 24 centimeters because that is the thickness of the wall. Now I'll, I'm going to extrude this profile straight up. But before I extrude it, I'll just copy this profile through a distance of 210 units or 7 feet to get the lintel level. So I type 210. Now I'll give extrude command and I'll give a height of extrusion of 300 units, which is the height of the wall. You now extrude command generates a surface from a profile you select in the positive visit axis direction. Now when you give hide command, you can see that you have got two overlapping boxes. To get the realistic feel of the wall, you have to perform a subtraction operation. So I'll give subtract command, SU for subtraction. And I'll select the outer solid, then I'll, I have to give an enter. This enter is important. I'll give an enter. Now you select the inner solid, then you give another enter. Now just give shade uh, and you can see that you have got uh, the same result of press pull command but only thing is there is a slight change in the procedure. Now we will create the provisions to accommodate the doors and windows that, is mean, that means the cutouts on the wall faces. So I'll go back to wireframe view, I'll go to view visual styles 2D wireframe. Then I have to create a polyline profile here but before you do that you have to align the UCS. This time. I'm going to do that without the help of dynamic UCS. So I'll just turn off dynamic UCS and I'll give UCS commands and I'll give a say three point option and align the UCS with the origin here and X in this direction and Y in this direction. So three point option will lead to align the UCS by, by picking the origin point X direction and Y direction. Now I'll uh, create uh, the profile of the window here. It's a rectangular profile. So I'll start with a rectangle command. I'll start with a rectangle command. Uh, then I'll pick the first point here and the opposite point, opposite corner. I can define using a relative coordinate entry method. That is, uh, I'll give at the rate means with respect to this point, uh, the this particular point that means the uh, diagonally opposite corner is at a horizontal distance of 150 units and at a vertical distance of 100 units. So at the rate 150 comma 100. So I have created this profile. So instead of giving dimensions, I have done that. I have done, uh, I have defined a point here. Now I'll just give perpendicular to bring it to the lintel level. Now you can just give extrude instead of press pull. Then I'll give a height of extrusion of minus 24, which is the thickness of the wall. So I have made that. Okay. Now you can create uh, another cutout here, another uh, you know solid has to be created here which is to be uh, subtracted. Uh, this one will subtract later. Okay. So since the UCS is kept on this face, uh, you can uh, create a profile here because these two uh, planes are parallel to each other. So I'm going to do the same procedure. I'll give rectangle command. I'll pick my first corner here and the opposite corner I'll give at the rate. The width is 200 because it's a four panel window and height is 180. I'll give 180 as a height. Now I've defined that. Now we can just move it and I'll uh, give perpendicular here. And then now I can give extrude and height of extrusion of minus 24. So that is also extruded. Now we don't have any other, you know, windows in this plane. So only two here, we can see that only two is available. So we have done that. Uh, now we have to create the same, we have to do the same operations on this face. So what's the first step? You have to align the UCS. I'll give UCS commands and I'll give three point option and I'll uh, keep my origin here. When I'm asked to give the origin, I pick this point X direction over here and the Y direction over here. 
so that is done now i'll give again i'll make a rectangle so i give rectangle command the first corner i'll pick here and the opposite corner i'll define using relative contact entry method so it's at the rate uh, 100 comma 100 now i'll give an enter then i'll move this straight up okay then i'll give extrude height of extrusion of minus 24 then you have to do uh, a similar operation here because you don't have to change the uses because you see these uh, faces are parallel to each other this one this one and this face are parallel to each other so rectangle this one at the rate uh, 200 it's 150 in fact it's 150 comma 180 uh, at the rate 150 comma 180 extrusion you can do last in one go you can do okay so I'll give perpendicular then one more is there so rectangle first corner here and the opposite corner at the rate 150 comma 150 then I'll select this as the first point and this is the second point after giving move command now I'll give extrude uh, this and this together this time and I'll give height of extrusion of minus 24 now let's create the door for that I'll start with the rectangle command again and I'll keep my first corner here and the opposite corner I'll pick here or you can give a distance at the rate uh, width is 100 uh, comma height is 210 now I'll give extrude and I'll give a height of extrusion of uh, minus 24 okay now you have to in fact remove this volume which uh, which are taken up by this uh, solids so for that you can give subtract command so I'll give su for subtract then I'll select the solid then you just give an enter then the solid to be subtracted these are the solids to be subtracted so you can select individual solids one by one just give an enter now give shade you can see that you have got exactly the same result which you have got before in the last lesson so these are the two alternate procedures you can stick to this one or the previous procedure and this procedure as I told you will work for all AutoCAD versions okay thank you now let us move on to the next lesson on the creation of the door